kwijt. Wacht, ik ga even. Nou, precies waar we blijven gaan. Hier nog zee. Maar hier, hier. Zet je hand ertussen, nee toch? Ja, maar ik was zacht. I almost killed Laura. Begint Before we started. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ik wist niet, zeg maar, je ging net opstaan, toch? Dus dan kon ik stoel makkelijk trekken. Wow. Um, welcome. Me and Laura are here tonight live streaming for you. It's night in the Netherlands, of course. But we were on a trip to Japan and then we thought, yeah, we got some questions here and there, but I asked you on Instagram to send us your questions so we could answer them, uh, both of us. Uh, so you sent questions for her and for me, and I've got them here. If you want to ask some questions in the chat, feel free to do so. Welcome, everyone, by the way. Uh, Vlad in Prailer. Oh, that's Larry. Oh, how are you doing, Larry? Hi, Dar. Says XD, XD. I'm from India, says Deepak. Oh, well. Uh, Laura, maybe you want to introduce yourself a little bit. Who are you? Uh, well, I'm Laura, <laughs> and we went to Japan together. I'm not sure if people have seen the vlogs, but more or less we know each other through our studies. We went yeah. to the same high, uh, university, and yeah, I don't and know what else to say. <laughs> well, they might have questions later. What is these bulbs? Oh, it's, is everything maybe working? Are you guys uh, hearing me? How is the sound, everyone? Let us know. Because we would like to know if you're hearing everything very well. All good. Oh, okay. okay. Awesome. Nice. Well, good evening. I'm watching from Iceland. Iceland. Oh, really? What a coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Right now, my parents are in Iceland. So. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll be uh, looking at the chat, but we will uh, also go through the questions you have asked us on Instagram. And uh, let's let's see the first couple of questions. Oh, what are those? So we got the uh, questions on Instagram right here. We're going to go through them. And I must say, you guys should be a little bit more original with your questions. <laughs> Definitely. Maybe they will be more original here. That might be. Indeed. So uh, to all of you watching, you can ask us a questions about our trip, a personal, whatever you want. We will answer what we want to answer, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> but, uh, somebody ask who invented questions. That's a good reason. Oh, I must even... The door open. Doing. Well, this is going very well. Uh, one second, I need to open up the door. Because there's a booby man. Getting very philosophical at first. Yeah. Yeah. Asking questions about <laughs> who invented <laughs> questions. <laughs> Wow. There's food coming up. <laughs> well, not food. <laughs> or drink. It's kind of a food drink. My mother made a uh, morir soñando. I'm not going to drink Ooh. so much of it. Um, but you can I'm taste very curious. It. You can have a taste. It's with milk and with uh, lemon. Okay. Did you find well, some other countries to visit besides Japan? It's not about Japan, but other oh. other countries. Other countries. Uh, would you like to go first? Well, no, you go first. Okay, <laughs> I'll go first. So other countries. We already talked about this. You have other ideas where you want to go. Oh, right. definitely. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour this. Uh, you know what I love, right? Go ahead. Um, well, very funny. Somebody said Iceland. I really want to go to Iceland. I've been wanting to go there since I don't know how long. Um, Iceland and Finland. Ooh. Finland. I think Finland would be cool. Very, very, very cool. Um, what else? Why? I don't know. I think it's nature and how little people, I mean, how it's not densely populated. Mm -hmm. Um, the language is so strange. I find it very fascinating. I know there are a lot like metal music coming from there. Just, I would like to be surrounded by these people and just uh, nature and stuff. Yeah, nature and stuff. What else? What other country is on the top of my head that I can think of? Um, where did I always want to go? Indonesia. Oh, really? It's a place I really want to visit as well. 
So Indonesia, Iceland, Finland, and what other country is? Oh, I would like to see more of Eastern Europe. Yeah, that's yeah. what you told me. Yeah, yeah, Eastern Europe, Ukraine, um, Litauen, oh, Lithuania, Lithuania. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So those countries for me, and you, you, Laura. Where do I want to go? There's many countries I want to go. I, well, I am going to Little Taiwan. Louder. Louder. I'm going to Taiwan. Like that's set. But otherwise, many Asian countries I want to see. I still want to go to the States, mostly um, the East, well, California or San Francisco and um, New York. Like the most <laughs> typical places, so right? But I want to see the States because I've never been. Um, what else? New Zealand? I don't oh, know. I, I would to, like to go there. Australia. Too. I don't know. The, the uh, animals, I mean, there's, there are the, the insects. <laughs> They're too oh, big. The deadliest <laughs> animals on the planet on yeah. one island. So I would want to go to to New Zealand. New Zealand. I'd That's like true. Go there. I yeah. also would prefer New Zealand over Australia. Yeah. I don't know. If Australia is not just not, not something that is calling my attention. No, really. me no. neither. There's many Dutch people that go um, more hiking mm. and uh, backpacking. All right. Um, and they go for one year to Australia, but it doesn't. No, no mm. I don't feel like going there. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Any other country? Many. I don't know. I don't know by heart right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I would like to go to the States too. Hey, there's a nice question. What's better, Kyoto or Tokyo? Well, that's they, you cannot really compare these two cities. Well, we can, we both have a preference. So you have a preference, right? That's true. So I have a preference. Can we say it at three? So one, two, three, okay. and then? Yeah. So at four, okay? Okay, at four. So it was Tokyo or Kyoto? Yeah. Okay. That's four, okay. okay. One, One, two, three, two, Kyoto. Kyoto. Yay! <laughs> yeah, we definitely both prefer Kyoto, but it's just a world of difference, these types of cities. Yeah. Like I already explained it once in the, or said it once in a video, the last one that Kyoto or Tokyo is just one, is organized chaos, you could say. It's very chaotic, but in an organized way. It feels like you can get lost there. But in, but you will always find the way because it's very organized as well. But it, well, you can find your you, way because you follow the crowd. You cannot go any other way than the way the crowd goes. <laughs> yeah, you explain that how that works on the stations. Yeah, you just have to go. You don't think just follow the stream of the massive stream of people. Yeah. And it's also like, I remember also the, the last day when I was on my way to the airport, yeah. I was walking with this big luggage Tokyo station and like when you go into the stream you have no other option just to walk with them you cannot walk back to the side or this you need to go <laughs> you cannot make a mistake no you need to already... <laughs> once you hop on you have to finish the ride <laughs> exactly like that you, you need to already calculate from beforehand okay I'm gonna go this way because I need to go there otherwise you will end up somewhere where you did not want to be and yeah, you get lost. No, you don't get lost. You get just somewhere where you don't want to be. Mm -hmm. So when you go into the crowd, it just that way you go and mm -hmm. you cannot go another way. And just the city, just all the lights and so many people. I remember the last day, there's still a vlog coming up from that, the last day that I spent in Tokyo. But I was at Shibuya Crossing um, in, on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Was it a mistake? It was <laughs> insane. I thought just the weekdays were busy, right? When yeah. we were walking that it was incredibly busy. Like so busy. Like I really felt that I don't know, I don't never would want to live in the middle of Tokyo. Like outskirts no. maybe. Yeah. But I would rather go to Osaka. <laughs> and that that's a really nice city. I love that city. Any any things you want to add about the chaoticness of of Tokyo. No, oh, I think you covered it all. Huh. But I want to add to the, the Osaka thing you said. That you like Osaka. Osaka has a good vibe. Yeah, I like Definitely. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very different from, from Tokyo. Of course, it's a little busy, but not as crazy busy. Like no. Over the top busy. The people there, they have a personality. In Tokyo, people do not have a personality. Mm. 
they're just one of the men. Yeah, we saw that right away, right? When we came yeah. there, like the people, more emotion on their face, smiling, big yeah. shouting in the station. Yeah. <laughs> that was really, really fun. But literally. We came from Hokkaido, so we already had a different feeling with Japanese people, but we expected people from Hokkaido to be different. For However, sure. when we went back, we thought, oh, we're going to be with the same like Japanese people, the more... Like, the, the mainland Japanese people mm -hmm. and they're going to be the same as the people in Tokyo but no, no not at all not at all and totally they, different okay before we check one of these questions let's go here on the Instagram so we're answering questions from uh, Instagram that you have sent um, uh, let me see uh, there's some random questions here uh, How's your day? How's your day? Well, my day is going fine. I'm sure. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> Do you feel Japanese liked you? Honestly, what is that kind of question? That like, if the people liked me or liked us in that way? Maybe we can answer that question. Yeah, but that's not a question for us. Or what do you mean? Well. I don't know. We can try to answer. <laughs> try to answer. We can say that we don't know. <laughs> yeah. We should ask Japanese people. All right. But I don't think we didn't come in a in a situation where people were angry at us or mad at us or no. I think the closest what happened that we <laughs> were creep. a little bit no 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 oh. that thing <laughs> um, that because he, oh a lot of people told me actually a lot of. Uh, people who work at convenience stores aren't really Japanese people. They're foreign people. A lot of foreigners work there. Just Chinese really? And, yeah. I, I caught it in a couple, several comments already. So the, the Japanese people are saying like those are the Those guys were Japanese. Those were Japanese? There, were, there was not a Chinese person. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Well, I, well, okay. well I just, just forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe people don't even know what we're talking about right now. But uh, I remember when we were in an onsen in Hokkaido, um, there are certain rules to being in an onsen, and we really didn't know all of them. But we thought, yeah, we had to strip down naked, and uh, we thought, let just wrap around the towel, let's wrap mm -hmm. the towel around us and walk into the onsen area. Yeah. But then before we wanted to enter, there was this lady, like she was shouting something to us, and we were like, what? what, what? And then we kind of understood we cannot use a towel when entering just the, the onsen. Just a tiny towel. Just the tiny <laughs> one. So you go completely naked and have a little towel with you, but the big towel should stay in your locker. So that's a mistake we kind of made. But everyone was kind of giggling and laughing. Like, oh, yeah. this, this, these foreigners. <laughs> they don't know. But other than that, yeah, it's a tough question to answer. Yeah. I think. Um, where was a place you have traveled and did not enjoy? Schiphol. <laughs> we, we traveled to the airport and we did not enjoy that. The airport in, in Amsterdam. Yep. I agree yeah, with that. It was a terrible time. Right before we went to Japan, uh, something was up with my passport. I thought it was resolved, but it wasn't. So uh, my passport was confiscated and we sat there waiting, waiting, waiting. And then they said, oh, you need to get an emergency passport. Otherwise, you cannot travel. We're like damn okay we need to do this a lot of things went wrong um it took so much time uh, and in the, the end yeah we missed our flight even though the weird thing we were there three minutes before the plane leaves like the time of it leaving we were yeah, there but okay so i talked to tony a friend mm -hmm. of mine she works at Scott klm and she told me that right now 20 minutes well, like a half an hour before departure time, they have to leave the, the gate. Oh, they close the gate. Because they have to be in the air or departed at the time that's on the on the ticket. That's really the departure time. So that's why they're really strict wow. with when the gate closes. Because that's maybe Schiphol is really, yeah, really strict. Yeah, Schiphol is really strict. With because that. in Japan, I was waiting 20 minutes before it left again. Yeah. And I was like, why? <laughs> this did happen. Exactly. And so it was just a thing that with Japan... Or with uh, with Schiphol, Schiphol. Schiphol. Be really, really on time because they're oh. very strict. Decent. Strict. Yeah, strict. Punctual. Punctual. That's yeah. the word. Holy moly. 
that was crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so going to our own airport in the Netherlands was uh, not a nice experience. <laughs> but I cannot think of another place I've traveled to and did not like. It's just Schiphol. It's, it's happened to me multiple times now. God. Schiphol is not my friend. Okay, let's watch, uh, look for another... What is that you're eating? Are we eating something? I'm mm -hmm. drinking yeah. something. Yeah, so this is Morir Soñando. Ooh, everything came on the bottom. My mother just made this for her to taste. Um, it is it's a really kind of smoothie made out of milk with... Uh, uh, how do you call that? Citroen? Lime? La lemon. Lemon. Citroen. Or... Citroen. or, or... Oh, they should use lime. My mother said citron, but it's lime. Because maybe it's the same. <laughs> I I know, it's my mom said sure. When I was in Brazil, they couldn't say the word mm. for citron. They just said lime. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, That's everything is lime. You can also in Dominican Republic, you can almost not find a lemon. It doesn't just always stir. lime. But uh, indeed, my mother put milk, I think sugar too, and uh, lime, and it tastes really good. My leg is sleeping but okay i'm gonna sit just a little closer but i am like a little smaller than you right now <laughs> so that's what it's called morir soñando and that uh that how do you call that um dying in your sleep <laughs> oh morir. morir that's dying yeah yeah and soñando is uh, the drone yeah, oh. dreaming mm. It's good. It's tasty. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice. I like it. Okay. Um, no, well, thank you for the compliments. Some people think we're pretty. Well, thank you very much. Uh, what was your first cultural shock in Japan? Cultural shock. I didn't have a cultural shock in Japan. I did have one in Korea. Oh, wow. After being in Japan, we split up and she went mm -hmm. back to Tokyo and I went to Korea for the first time in my life. I was so happy on the plane. I was just sitting there. Oh, yes, I'm going to Korea finally. Mm -hmm. And when I arrived, it was so, so busy. So many people, so many people talking loud and <laughs> moving. I don't know. They, they were just doing their own thing. And in Japan, people just followed the rules. And, Everything where you or any place where you go, if you come from Japan, you have this um, this major culture shock because Japanese are alien to most of the rest of the world. So Koreans even felt like they were so they were moving so much and they were just being human. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like they didn't care if they bumped into someone else. And in Japan, people are very humble. Like, yeah. if something happens, you're like, oh, I'm yeah, like, so sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And Koreans don't. No. And I had a culture shock from Japan to Korea. No, but no. after two days, I was like, oh, yeah, this is normal. Because you're maybe like, we're really used to Japan as an uh, as an Asian country, Asian people, but then so uh, with their rules and their habits that mm -hmm. way that probably you kind of feel like all the Asian countries are like that. But Japan is kind of special in that way. Yeah. Very, but they're very different from all the other Asian countries. I yeah, think. it's yeah. like upper Asian, <laughs> not, not upper as in like it's better. Just it's like Asian on steroids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Now. <laughs> I don't know how to explain huh? because I know like about different cultures. I've been to different countries in Asia, but I didn't expect it to be this much difference between Japan and Korea because mm -hmm. there are certain similarities. I also course. thought so because when you explained it to me, she sent me messages and I thought, really, is it that different? Is it really like that? I thought I was going, mm -hmm. it was going to be too much for me to be in Korea after two days. And then I, how do you say that? I adjusted. Climatize. Yeah. Climatize. Yeah. Cl <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I also don't remember having a culture shock in Japan. I remember just being really, um, like, just looking at everything. Like, I rem I'm talking about my really first experience, like, in 2013, that I was just, with every little detail, I was kind of in awe. Like, wow, 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 wow. Everything was fascinating to me. Actually, this trip as, as well, again, I don't know what mm -hmm. it is with Japan with that, but just all the little details like the care for all the little details that is something that just really stuck with me that i'm always so 
um, excited about when talking about Japan or wanting to travel there again, just to feel feel all the care for everything. Yeah. And it's not a culture shock, but it's something that really just always, like it's a nostalgic feeling <laughs> in a way. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, check some more uh, uh, questions. Uh, maybe you can find one and I will find one in there. Australia's beaches are wonderful if you like diving in clear water. Are they? Are they like uh, very bluish there as well? I'm not so sure. Stay away from Corona virus. Virus. Oh, there are people sending. Oh, how nice! Thank you for the donations. Thank you. I was. Uh, we have been uh, like it wasn't going down. Why do you answer questions five minutes ago? Well, um, because my live chat was stuck. It wasn't. It's not going down. <laughs> One second. Okay, guys, if you have um, asked some questions before, ask them again because I'm going down the. Um, down the live stream chat. You're half Japanese. No, I'm not. I'm not half Japanese. No. Oh, here, maybe this Twins. is a fun are we question twins? or fun. Mm -hmm. um, are there many elderly there? How did they look health wise? Lively? Oh, that's so, a good question. One second, yeah. I'm going to delete someone from here. <laughs> well, I can start with talking. Yeah. So the, the, the most um interesting thing was the most impressive thing was when we were in the onsen and we saw these elderly women that had such amazing skin we were we were in awe like yeah how do you do that what is your routine we want to Definitely. look like that at that age holy moly yeah it, they had a very very nice skin that and was insane I, I remember also just they look like 20 30 year olds indeed the the skin of Really, old people, um, you think of just being wrinkly and spotty and saggy. They were just tight yeah. Yeah. and glowing and no spots, nothing. If you what if hell? you didn't see their faces, you'd think they were a lot younger. Yeah. They were in their 20s or 30s. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Thank you, JB, by the way, for the donation. Thank you very much. Um... Oh, thank you for moderating Revival Films, by the way. That's really great of you. <laughs> because I haven't been uh, uh, checking the thing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me see some more stuff. Did you enjoy the some kind of loneliness in the crowd in Tokyo or Osaka? Well, we can talk a little bit about that. I think, uh, yeah, we have been together. Uh, all the time in J Japan, so we weren't really lonely, lonely. Uh, afterwards, you went to Korea, so you were kind of by yourself. And mm -hmm. I was in Tokyo just like two or three more days by myself. And that was strange to be alone between so many people because I just went into the city centers and stuff. Mm -hmm. It was very different, of course, not being with you. But um, in somewhat way... If it's not for too long, it's enjoyable. Like the, I couldn't imagine myself being there longer alone. Yeah. Because it's really, um, of course, you're not used to it because you're also coming from a different country and all the habits and everything around you is foreign to you. It's, it's not what you know. So just a couple of days is nice, but not all the time. Like especially for a country like Japan, I think if you go to some other Western country. You kind of um, understand your surroundings more. You understand the language but probably a bit better. And maybe America, England, Canada, countries like these would be, wouldn't be would be that foreign. So maybe I could be there for a longer time by myself. But like countries like in Asia are really different from the Western. Um, but yeah. to be honest, I think Japan is the easiest country to live by yourself because there's so oh. many people that are alone like that and you can just go for you can go outside and go have dinner somewhere by yourself and, and it's not strange at all yeah it's it's okay to be by yourself in japan people mm -hmm. you you don't get you can get isolated but you do not have to get isolated yeah and i think in the west it's a lot more difficult to 
start talking to people. If you are a foreigner, if you look Western, it's very easy to just make friends and go out. But yeah. it's not a very long lasting friendship maybe, but you do not have to be alone. When I went to Korea, I found that out that in Japan it's easy to be alone because in Korea, mm -hmm. everything is in group. Um, mm -hmm. You say that? You do everything in a group. So you cannot just go to a restaurant and eat by yourself because that's, that's just weird. Everything is shared. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is people are very quick to go into relationships and finish relationships Yeah, because um, if you're single, it's weird mm -hmm. because you cannot do anything by yourself. You have to do something together. So you oh. just then you have someone, you have a buddy to do stuff with. Interesting. So yeah. it's it's very different. And in Japan, you do not have that at yeah. all. You do not have to go with the group. No. You so. have a lot of activities indeed that you can do by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And that also there was a question about um, yeah. if it's different to live there um, and work there as opposed to going as a, as a tourist. Yes, it's a lot different. Um, I met with, uh, we, we met with uh, some, some friends and um, because you do not know any, any people there when you come there, or maybe you do know some people, you have to restart meeting people and all the people you know for a longer time that are really true friends mm. that you can trust that that you've been through like hardship with you don't have those so mm. it will feel very very lonely yeah. yeah and besides that if you saw the salary man the western salary man all of them in the subways they didn't look happy like we as tourists we're happy it's yeah. just nice to enjoy japan as a tourist but it's a lot different if you work there because of the working hours, even if you do not work in a traditional company. So I agree with that. Yeah. After, I, I wanted to go to Japan very badly for, for work as well, but after being there again, seeing what it's like or hearing stories from other people who work in Japan as a mm -hmm. foreigner, I don't want it. I don't think I, it will make me happy. Mm -hmm. Maybe it would even ruin the country. Yeah. I could understand that. Is it from it's a really different perspective? Just no way. I think you uh, said that really nicely. Mm -hmm. And JB, thank you for the donation. When are you girls coming to America? When are we? <laughs> when are we coming to America? That's a good question. Well, I think you Depends already where. That as well. <laughs> Indeed, America's huge. And, but you already expressed yourself that you really want to go there, right? Yeah. I also really want to go there. Well, really want to go there? I want. To, I have to see it. I've never been, so I, mm -hmm. I, I want to go there. But America as in, I mean, the States? Or you mean the States? Because America can be Northern, Southern. <laughs> That's true. It's That's very big. America, <laughs> yeah. I've been in the middle America, in the, in the Car oh, it's Caribbean, you could say. I've been in Brazil. Uh, it's also yeah, America. It's true. Yeah, we've already been there. <laughs> well, but uh, definitely in, in Northern America. So the States. I would definitely want to visit New York. That's yeah. really one that I really want to see. Miami. Oh, Miami. Texas. Yeah. Just the whole... Texas, yeah, really? I would love to see it. <laughs> to be there. These people. And, and um, where Arizona would be really interesting too. Nature-wise. And... Mm. I think it's pretty like I say it's such a huge country and just thinking about driving through it just from what, like in the Netherlands you're everywhere within like you can go from the one side to the other side in the Netherlands within three hours from the one that side to that side within three hours even within We've two hours definitely I yeah, live on the other side of, of the country. No, I, I, I lived on one side of the country, mm. uh, all the way in the in the west. And I went to university in the east, and it was a two-hour commute by train. <laughs> that For us, it's long. That's long for yeah. us. Three hours commuting is two hours, three hours. It's like, damn, that's a long, long yeah, time. But in America, I hear like people, I just drive to work for four hours. <laughs> Why the accent? I don't know. <laughs> it just comes spontaneously. <laughs> <laughs> Was it an American accent? <laughs> I just drive to, to work for four hours. <laughs> der, der, der. <laughs> Be right back on my way over, Corky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but yeah, definitely, America will be a really cool place to visit. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Uh, it's definitely. <laughs> yeah. Relax some steak right now. Some steak with what drink is there so? What do they drink? What do Americans drink? Coke. Coca Cola. <laughs> well, you don't give me a Coke. Coke. <laughs> yeah, Coke. Oh, you say Coke, right? Yeah. Mm, you so you the what you yeah work that you said. Yeah, I one. just yeah. What was your favorite experience in Japan? Says Evan underscore g711 we forgot to mention all your names i'm so sorry no, you can't see no. <laughs> <laughs> our favorite or what our, our favorite, favorite experience. experience in japan mm, there were a couple of just things just popped the into food. my food definitely <laughs> period <laughs> yo you all racist towards americans <laughs> um, um, we apologize um is America a race? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're kind of the same people here, bro. <laughs> you're coming from us. You're you're our seedlings. Um. So yeah, definitely the food. Every uh, food culture in Japan is just phew, amazing. Um. But there are some memories, some experiences that really stayed with me. So, like going going to Hokkaido together was a really memorable thing for me, just going with the train, arriving at uh, Shin Hakodate, how cool it was there and how the environment changed and the people changed. And just being in in uh, Hokkaido and Sapporo, just this whole vibe, it really felt like we were in a different country. And I always wanted to go there. I always had a huge fascination with Hokkaido and uh, Ainu, Ainu, I say right Ainu. Yes. Ainu people. And the culture there, and just going to the the museum, to the historical uh, uh, historical town, historical village. Mm-hmm. Even though it was not so nice and lively because it was cold, it was middle in the winter, and just yeah, it was really a memorable thing. Yes, Sapporo is amazing. It's it's amazing. It's super different. Like it's not. I couldn't even call it Japan. Like compared to what I've seen from Japan, I've been to Tokyo. I've been to Osaka. And um, just Hokkaido feels like a different country. And just the mountains there, it was beautiful. I'm, I'm glad we went actually to see it in the wintertime, just Hokkaido in the wintertime. It's also very popular with, with other Asian countries. They go there, especially Chinese and Taiwanese people. We saw them a lot. It was like sometimes as if we were in China, <laughs> like so many Chinese people and yeah. Taiwanese people. But that was very memorable. memorable. Um, Definitely just also in Tokyo. Wait, someone is guessing our um, our zodiacs. What's your zodiac? Someone is guessing our zodiacs. Yeah. Where did you see it? Let me guess. Let me You're guess. Capricorn. You're a Capricorn. How no. did you know that? Who's a Capricorn? Are you a Capricorn? I'm a Capricorn. I'm not. I'm not the one. I'm not a. How do you? How I'm do you a pronounce Capricorn. That? The other one, Pisces. 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 Yeah, that's all. No. Guess again. <laughs> Guess again. What is her zodiac sign? Guess again. And then I'm very cute. What it? Oh, cute, cute. Curious what it means. Like why? What were your pieces? That Pisces. On? I would say because Pisces. I always like from what I've learned. I don't know. This stuff is maybe really fake, but uh, Pisces are really sweet and calm and um, really. And I always, I do the cult. You, <laughs> you are very <laughs> cute right now, like how you speak and everything. It's the makeup. The makeup makes me look like <laughs> a Pisces. No, no, just the way Without you speak. Without makeup, I have a different zodiac. And your sweet face, like how you smile. <laughs> Why you sweet face? Why you sound I'm really speaking <laughs> like an American right now. <laughs> um, no yeah, one's I, guessing I, it. I, I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. Also, oh, Aquarius comes after uh, Capricorn then. No, after Pisces. No, first you have like Pisces December. Is December, right? Oh no, what, no, no you're, Pisces is like yeah. March or something. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. If I'm in January, then uh, yeah, I come. <laughs> yeah, right. I I think so too. Yeah. So um. 
Okay, next. Oh, favorite experience still. Did you remember like a favorite experience of yours? <laughs> food. So food is on top of your mind. <laughs> right yeah, it's always. Mm. That's life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Osaka was also something that just, just poof. Osaka was great. I want to go back there. I really like it. But just, I also must say, my whole experience being together with you, like I thought it was going to be really nice, but I didn't expect it to be really, really, yeah, really, but really, really nice. sucked. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, we like we stayed together. We've never been together um, for for a, a long amount of time. No, we've never, never stayed somewhere together. together no. no, just and I think just yeah. our personalities and how we are, we really. We really flow together. We really click. There was no arguments. If she wanted to do something, she could do it. If I wanted, but most of the times we were together. Just we were together. Really like oh, we have we we have to like this schedule. We we kind of made a schedule, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Exactly. Get over it. Like if we okay. changed our mind, we would change yeah. our mind, and we weren't like no, I want to do this. No, you have to go with me. Or blah blah blah. Yeah. So nothing like that happened. That was. Uh, and was also, great. if we felt like doing something else. And like our both our gut feelings were good, we just did it, and I really like that because you can plan whatever you want, but in at the end of the day, you're just forcing yourself to do stuff you maybe don't even want to do. Mm -hmm. So we really like yeah, go with the flow, and we'll see. We're on a holiday, exactly. on vacation. I experienced so many fun things like that. Uh, do you know the Lake Kasumi Gaura? Do you know it? Where the where, where, where? Kasumi Gaura. You don't know it. Where is the lake Kasumi Gaura in Japan? I guess it would be what's in Japan. A, what's a uni? Uni ga ashikata desho? I think uni. oishikata. Uni, the, the sea urchin. Oishikata oh, desu. Hi. Uh, it, was, it tasted like the sea. Creamy sea. Creamy sea. Umi? Umi? Kurimi no umi. Boy. Kurimi no umi, boy. Hi. Simple unknown. I hope you heard our response to that. The second largest lake in Japan. Ah, hell, you already mentioned it here. The second largest lake in Japan. We don't know about it. Kasumi Gua Gaura. Gaura. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, then I know that as well. Thank you very much. I don't know the kanji. What would Wait, it mean? What? Something with half. <laughs> Something with noru. Nori. So, no, oh, no, no. sorry. I was going scrolling. Is that? I don't know for sure. My country's off. <laughs> Surfing. <laughs> Nami. Nami. Ra. Nami Nori. Nami Nori. Nami Nori. Nori. <laughs> nori from riding on the wave, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo, JB, another donation. Thank you uh, Thank very you. much, though. That's cool. Crystal is a secret American. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> got me. <laughs> got me. <laughs> what is something really American to say? Oh, I love my country. <laughs> uh, oh. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best. <laughs> America is great. It's great. No, I'm, I'm really serious. I'm saying it in a in a American accent way. It makes sense that you are with a January Capricorn girl. I'm not in January. I'm not born in January. Absolute MMA 101. <laughs> I'm not born in January. I'm born in December. I'm born in January. And she's in January, yeah. Maybe that mixes well. Osaka to But why Capricorn? Ignore. Because Capricorn is not January. Yeah, well, it's, it's Aquarius. Well, it no, but the first of the beginning is, I think, Capricorn. I have no other Capricorns in the beginning of January. I think towards the end is Aquarius, towards That's February. strange because you are, what are you again? Capricorn. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so at the December, end of December. Yeah. 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 Yes. Hmm. Do you see any coronavirus virus? Well, we have well, not experienced anything upon that when in, we were there. On the thirty-first of December, I was in Beijing. I survived. 
<laughs> I was sick. <laughs> you were. I fished well, zero into the Netherlands. <laughs> what? No. No. We have no experience about that. We we we. That's like something. I don't know. I was already telling myself I want to go to Japan before 2020. I don't want to go in 2020. She already knew coronavirus was going to happen. I already knew it was going to happen. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, that's, it's not good to talk about that. No, no, that's true. That's true. I have no. Because, I want to say that I have no uh, knowledge about it. I haven't researched anything about it. I've just heard things from people and uh, it sounds really crazy. But indeed, we went l luckily before that time, yeah, and came back before uh, all that uh, happened. But uh, yes, I think you're right, Laura. That's not so nice to talk about it like that. No, it's terrible. But that's happening. Yeah. Um, we need to be careful. Indeed. And I hope that it's not going to get any worse than it is right. right now. How did you communicate with non-English speaking Japanese? Mm. If Nihongo. at all, I'm going soon. Well, you need to learn a little bit. Japanese, well, thank you, sorry. Well, a little bit. Official people uh, and train stations and everything like that, they speak English right now because of the 2020 true. Olympics. Yeah, they improved so much on their English from when we were there, like 2013, 2014. They couldn't really speak very well English in the station, not at all. They wouldn't really speak black in English, but now everybody speaks it well, and some of them even worked on their accent like they don't have a uh, strong accent they're speaking it really really well and clearly so on the stations you can ask your way in english it will be fine but uh, it would be nice if you go to some other territory oh well wow. oh well wow. <laughs> the memes are already yeah. coming <laughs> damn but that's not like meme level in that place that's interesting. yeah <laughs> i thought so so um Indeed. So I, I would uh, advise you to learn some basics, learn how to order food, learn how to ask the way, learn how to at least um, learn some hiragana and katakana. Just get the hiragana down and learn some of the katakana. Katakana is handy because it's like actually uh, English words. They use it for that. So just reading these can help you a lot already. And uh, yeah, the basic things. Just know yeah. know the basics. Know how to say I'd your say name. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And how to or say hello me. and thank you. And yeah. And the word where. Yeah. And Doko. then how to point. Yeah. Doko. <laughs> Doko. Yeah. Doko. <laughs> where. The, these things can help you very much. And I think the people also appreciate it over there from uh, what we've experienced. I would say again, what are we drinking? Not pina colada. So what we are drinking, this was uh, Morir Soñando. Morir Soñando. Yes. Rotterdam, Rotterdam accent versus Amsterdam accent. Oh, Rotterdam. Hey, I don't know how to speak. It's with a rolling. Oh, they have it's a Rotterdammer with not a T. Yeah. What then? What then? That's weird. I don't know that. Oh, I don't know my Rotterdam. I wasn't born and raised there. Like, I don't know how Amsterdam people speak. I, I can't talk like that. Oh, if I hear it, I can kind of do it. Yeah, but I can, so yeah. I can only do a little bit of Amsterdam. Yeah. But I, I, I speak normal. <laughs> I don't speak yeah. any accent. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Oh, what is it? If I hear the Amsterdam accent, I could could kind of... Re yeah, but I cannot do it from the top of my head right now. No, I, I can't. Also. Have you tried keto? Mm, well, I most of the time... I eat low in carb. No, I, have I tried keto? Not a long time, but I kind of go towards that. That's a really random question, by the way. I kind of uh, keep my carbs low. Keep my carbs low. Anyways, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's still very thing. predominant. This this American accident just it stays, comes up. It's lingering. It's lingering. Okay, next question. Oh, there's a lot of Japanese there. Wait, first. Yeah, let's just translate that because that's what funny. the okay wait i'm sorry i was reading the accent oh okay Home like Home Arabian? Hmm? no i don't huh? know it's what? just no <laughs> what what happened just let it go <laughs> Flippin. oh wait let's try to read this sugi wa kobe kobe ni 
くといいと思います。とっても美しい街です。日本で一番おいしいドンプリング<笑>も食べられます。Next time I would like to go to this place. Which place? Which place? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. <laughs>、mm. Okay, let's check another question from Instagram because you can send us questions from Instagram. And,、um, well, I'm not going, planning to go back anytime soon to Japan, but we are definitely going back. She's definitely, definitely, definitely going, going back. back. Hey JB, ¿cuándo regresa a la República Dominicana? I hope this year, but perhaps probably next year, I don't know. It depends on my mom. My mom is la jefa. She will say when we go and when we won't. Thank you, Yen JB, by the way. You're very、really、awesome. No, Rotterdam. Hey, I see him in my comments too on my videos. The v i g o r n s Okay. Oh, Kobe, okay, okay.、Yeah. Oh, Kobe! Why does it say Kobe in the translation? Yeah, the translation is Kobe. If I would have read、yeah. this in Japanese, I would have gotten it. Yeah. Sugi wa Kobe ikito to imasu. Oh, you're so nice, you didn't do the kanji. Yeah, yeah. To help、did. us. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> We're still so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> nice.、Um, is there anything that might not be considered rude in Europe? That would be offensive in Japan. Saying no. If you don't want、yeah. something. Just being very direct. <laughs> yeah, being direct. But that's a Dutch thing, kind of. In、yeah. Europe, maybe in Europe, there are places where、True. directness is not so appreciated.、Yeah. We are really direct here in the Netherlands. If you, who, by the way, Jim Murphy asked that on、uh, Jim.Murphy, ask it on Instagram. But.、Um, Yeah, in the Netherlands, we are really direct. We will say what we think, and we don't mean it in a rude way. It's just、uh, if she shows me,、um, for example, her bracelet, and she's、it's、like, How do you like Yeah, it's not a bracelet, but I'm just I'm saying it as an example. <laughs> That's、so、directness. She, it's not a bracelet. <laughs> so just, don't be so stupid, <laughs> Kristen. <laughs> yeah, like this. This is just really normal. Like, I wouldn't be offended. It's just, okay, but this could be a bit. Uh, teasing, or how you say it,、yeah. plaza, or whatever. But、uh, if she showed me her bracelet and he's like, How do you like it? I could just be like, No, I don't really like it. And she wouldn't, like, of course, somewhere people could be a little bit offended. You know, it's a bit, bit of a personal thing, but we don't mean it in an offensive way. We just say our opinion, and we like to say our opinion, I think, here in the Netherlands a lot. But、uh, in Japan, it would be considered very rude. Losing face is something you do on a daily basis here. Yeah. <laughs> if you're Japanese. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's for Japanese, it can be really tough to try to blend here in here in the Netherlands because of the directness. It could be like the smallest direct things could be considered rude already. Like, if somebody is、uh, made a mistake with uh, uh, some work at, some, at your job, with some work you did, some project you did,、um, we could be straightforward, like, look, this is not correct. You did that wrong. And we want you to do it like this. Probably in Japan, it would be like kind of they would go over it,、yeah. like not really direct、uh, beating around the bush. Yeah, yeah, trying to beat around the bush. And then the other person would kind of understand that, hey, I'm probably doing something wrong. I'm going to change it, but they、yeah. don't say it in a direct way. But I've heard this in, in Germany as well. If a, if a teacher gives feedback, they just tell you it's not good, do it again. And you have no clue what the heck you should do and how to make、mm. it better. And in the Netherlands, they are really direct on what should be changed. So it's very efficient.、Mm-hmm. I think like, Dutch people like the way they communicate because of the efficiency. You know、mm-hmm. what to expect. Yeah. But it's not that it's not like we're really straightforward that if someone asks, like, do you like it? Maybe you don't、people. say it, like、mm-hmm. it's ugly, but you can feel that someone doesn't like it. Yeah. And, yeah, it's okay because if you like it, it's okay.、Mm-hmm. But maybe they、yeah. will say, like, I prefer it in a different color or something. They could say something like that. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think、um, we can do some couple of last questions because we are、uh, going towards an hour with the stream and we both need to go to work tomorrow.、Um, so, 
Um, yeah. Maybe we can check one from the chat. Do you think meat should be illegal? You should be illegal for asking that question. The meat should not be illegal. What do you think? Meat this is my direct opinion. Meat should be illegal. That, that, that means that we're all illegal because we're all made of meat. Bam. I prefer you to restate the question if you want an answer to your question. That's a great idea. Well, well said, Laura. But it's too late because this was the last question. Yeah. <laughs> no, Bye. more, 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 please. That was not the right way to end this. In Denmark, too. What did in Denmark, too? What ethnicity are you two from? Says Alvor Alpha. What do you think this girl is? This is fake, by the way. I'm not blonde. You're a bit blonde. <laughs> I'm be blonde. <laughs> so, so I, we will give you a little bit of time to guess our ethnicity. Ethnicities. 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 Ethnicity. 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 Yeah. Ethnicity. <laughs> American accent. Ethnicity. Ethnicity. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay. Well. Well, well, okay, well. go ahead. What is your ethnicity? Um, I am one sixteenth German and the rest fully Dutch. Oh, damn. I'm very exotic. Did you have a blood test or like a DNA test? No, on I just know that my great grandmother or great grandfather was German. All right. It would be interesting to see your like what kind of European things you have, or maybe you're really straight just Germanic. Well, in that can, <laughs> in the end, we're all African, right? Who knows? Who knows? I got my thoughts on that. <laughs> I'm not sure and the earth about is that. Flat. <laughs> Someone has a question. <laughs> <laughs> the earth is flat. <laughs> I believe the yes. earth is flat. Cuts. What is this? Oh, the Okay. Okay, whatever. They did hide. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. You and I'm um, Dutch, half Dutch and half Dominican. But my DNA test says a lot of other interesting things. I might be a little bit more Italian. And yeah, there was Italian like 20, 20, 20% 20 or something. Um, but most of all, it's Scandinavian. So I'm not, I, I don't have any blood from here, like from the Germanic. Uh, no. no, it's all Scandinavian. Um, and some little bit from the Welsh, uh, Irish stuff, and then it is Italian, and then I am like some percent Kenyan and Nigerian. Oh wow! It's very fascinating. Cool. They said I like. Of course, we don't know if that's all true. I don't know how they do this. That they said like perhaps your DNA matches with people from that area, and then they think you're like from that area. It maybe works like that. Who knows? But it was fun to do, hmm. indeed. No. Um, do, 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 do. Is it true that chewing your food loudly in is considered respectful in Asia? I don't know about chewing. I know about slurping your noodles in Japan is considered really like, oh, you really like your noodles, slurp it. It's, well, it's slurping positive. also has to do with the taste. Because when oh. there's air, yep. when you slurp it, it helps with getting more of the taste too. Or yeah, yeah, because they say the when flavors you, come out better. Yeah, when you chew yeah. your food more, also like with your mouth open a bit, is people say you can taste it more. Ah, something. But I don't know about uh, it being polite or respectful. In or... in Korea, they also eat with their mouth open. Hmm. They are very for us. Yeah, from a That's very rude. early age, they tell you to not open your mouth when you're eating. Always mm -hmm. keep your mouth closed and don't talk when you're eating. So to us, it is rude, but I do not know if it's if it's not rude to do it in Korea or or if people just yeah. do not care. I don't. Know. Indeed, I wouldn't know either. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, there we thought we are Anglo. Mm -hmm. You look mixed, European, Japanese. People always, like I, people always think I'm whatever country, like mm. whatever country. Yeah, it's like I heard what I did. I hear Turkish, Moroccan. I heard um, uh, recently somebody thought I was like Chinese, 
Mexican. I've heard that was also a new one. Chinese was a new one. Uh, I could understand. Chinese? I could understand the context. I will explain to you later why oh, that okay. maybe was. Um, <laughs> uh, Israeli. Uh, but I don't think I look like that at all, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, they say uh, uh, Iraqi. I think I. I, I yeah, I yeah, heard yeah, Iran. Iran. Oh, Iran. Yeah, your friend said that yeah. I look like people from his country. Yeah, but you have so many different types of people in mm. Iran. Mm. Yeah, really maybe the, the Iraqi side. I think mm. that could be. Right. Yeah, I have no idea, no idea. But it's a lot of things. And you could also be a little bit like Eastern European. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, but yeah, I think those girls' faces there are beautiful. Yeah, like but more... I'm so I'm very tall. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not petite. Or no, something like that. No. So, but that's better. Uh, Let me say it here. No, I like prefer like. Full grown, <laughs> full grown, <laughs> not petite. No, like I don't big like bones. It. That they no. good, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's good, good for working on the farm. Working on farm. <laughs> working on farm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They're the girls. They're the girls. Well, we're not really being so positive to American people here. <laughs> no, we love you. No worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, love from India. Thank you very much. We love you back. Odisha explorer, explorist. <laughs> That's why you always slurp. Too expensive in my <laughs> Chinese? What? I'm not Chinese. Yeah, they thought I was Chinese, indeed. Uh, surfing? <laughs> I don't remember. Indeed, surfing. <laughs> Iran is Persian. No, your nose is too big. For? <laughs> For what? Wait. I like my big nose. I'm glad I don't have a tiny nose, okay? Okay, okay. For for like for what is for which countries is for which oh possible? for 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 Asian countries. Like probably Well then it's positive because then you have a like your yeah, yeah, that's that's true. Because but in the in the width you don't have a white nose. No, that is very a uh, European nose, like like yours, like this, like this. In the in Asia, it's like their nose bridge is lower, and yeah. European people have a higher nose bridge, and that that's a sign of like you having European genes or not Asian genes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he says my my sister's. Oh wait, I'm mm -hmm. from Iran, and my sister is exactly 100% like Kasumi. Mm -hmm. So, but. I've heard that you have different influence and different ethnicities in Iran. So you have the Turks, you have the like more Persian, and you have different types of of people in, uh, in Iran. Europeans. So could it be that like, your ethnicity is so you're Persian, but which ethnicity is it? And oh, but Persian is a is a it's a mixture. Is a mixture from different. It's like the Persian Empire has been so big. Yeah, that's true. It's it's in the north. I think there's like lighter people, toilet. and in the in the south, like there's. I know what you mean. So you mean. there's different influences. Mm -hmm. It's like India. Mm. In the north, mm -hmm. they're very light, and in the uh, yeah. in the in the south, they're a lot darker mm -hmm. because in the north they look more Asian, more mm -hmm. more. Yeah, they look Asian. very European there too. They have a lot of European descendants there from, I think, Germanic, German. How tall are you? How tall are you? Where? How tall? How tall am I? 170 centimeters. 170. Wait, really? Hey, safe. You're like five centimeters longer than me. I'm 174. 74, okay. We don't do feet here, so go to the calculator yeah. you want to know. <laughs> 170, 174. Like, she's a bit taller than I am. Quite yeah. <laughs> you sound like that Swedish Muppet cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was your Japan trip? It was amazing, Jason Kelly. And JB, again, thank you very much. Do you girls have any pets? Favorite animal? Any pets? I don't have any pets. I don't have any pets. No, you used to have a dog. Oh, you used to have a dog. What was your name? Booby. Booby. Oh, Booby. really? Booby. Oh, my father's name is Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now I, I I had some hamsters, but we never I never really have pets. I never really had. What were your hamsters called? 
My first hamster was called <laughs> Hamtaro. <laughs> My second was called Sparky. Sparky. And I had another one called Pleaky. I don't know Pleaky. why I named it like that, but oh my god oh, oh, baby. so that was your only pet you had well i also had hamsters and, and bunnies hmm. and my first hamster was like the best hamster ever and my, my, my too my first one was yeah. like the best yeah one. and the other ones afterwards they really sucked <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to bite me and with the first one his name was grijskopje grijskopje it's like gray head gray head really that's what his name yeah. i was a goud hamster Oh, why? I don't know what was wrong with the why six-year-old Laura, but, <laughs> <laughs> but she I called like her the hamster. golden hamster gray head. <laughs> nice. Mm-hmm. I didn't really have much with. I had guppies too, like little fishies. But oh yeah, those were like fun, but not much fun. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Dutch girls are kind of tall. Yes, we are pretty. We are like the. I say the the average is 170, I think, for girls here, the height, and for men 180 average. Yes. But men are like people are really tall here. Every time I go like Dominican Republic or to Japan and I come back and I think like, damn, the people are really big mm-hmm. and tall here. Yeah. Lover looks 100% Dutch. You look like a Roman girl. See, everybody has a really different opinion. Kasumi, are you going to move to Japan? I don't think so, but I would like to stay for a couple of months. But who knows? Who knows? But I don't think I will move there. Mm-hmm. This, the, the guy who was talking about Iran said that he is surprised that I pronounce it the right way. Mm. But it's the same in Dutch. Iran. You say it like mm. that. Yeah. And but I know because I have a friend who is from Iran and he told me so that's why. Oh, I don't Iran. say Iran. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Iran, 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 Iran. Yeah. Iran. I hear you said that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hamtaro. Yep, <laughs> Hamtaro. He would sit on my desk and eat and not move. Oh, he would just so sit cute. there, like if I give him some food, he would just sit there and he just eats oh. and he doesn't walk away. And that was my hamster. Oh, so cute. It was so cute. I had him for two years. It, their lifespan is kind of two years. So it was really Mine long. only was one year and he got mm. sick. He had this big this cancer mm. thing with his leg. It was so sad. But he, he used to walk around in the living room. We could just let him walk around. He was little guy. On the floor. And in, after dinner, for example, sometimes we had ice cream. And then we had a cornetto. I don't know what's cornetto in English. Like the cone with the, the cone with cream and chocolate. Cream and chocolate. Yeah. yeah. And he was also eating that. Oh. We was were feeding him a cornetto. That is so cute. <laughs> it's not good for the hamster, but I was seven, so please do not judge. Don't judge. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, he probably got cancer because of that. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm traumatized. But he was happy though with all the sugar. <laughs> he should <have> rushed. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That was oh my young God. Laura. So sorry, Hyscopia. <laughs> Is it hard to date a Japanese guy? I am an American girl and I find them to be very hard to get to know. Probably that's because of their like their culture and the way they speak to people. I don't know. But where do you live? Um, if you live in America, I do think it's definitely it's hard to <laughs> get to know Japanese guys. What do you mean? Elaborate more on that. I find them very hard to get to know. Like they are not express themselves much. Maybe I don't know. Would you two ever start a family? You should. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We cannot start a family. We are too vamen. Women. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Love watching your Japan trip. Do you guys have any tips for recovering from? Well, we're not going to talk about NoFed right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Kasumi Laura. New channel. Kasumi Laura channel. Ooh. Who would be in for that? Who would subscribe to the Kasumi Laura channel? We can make a podcast. Whoa. I think it, we have really, okay, we, we are really interested in things like a lot of things about. That's uh, such a non-word. 
We're interested in things. But, but I'm, I was still explaining oh, myself. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Wait a second. Wait a second. We are, like, we are interested in, in psychology, in history, in cultures. Anthropology. In anthropology. That's right. Okay, we... This we, is a we, row, a row, a row. <laughs> I think we can have great conversations together because she... Like, I haven't come across many girls that have an opinion. Like when I, oh, you need to be like okay. Many Dutch people think they have an opinion, but they just quote what they heard on the news. That's not an opinion. Most of the people do that. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, no, good you said that. There. That was because your side people note. are just re reiterating what everybody is saying, and they don't investigate themselves, or they don't try out things for themselves, or they don't cannot speak out of experience. And I think. When I mentioned something, when I uh, uh, what I investigated and, and and this is like this and blah blah blah, she's like, hmm, is that so? But this, but this, but da 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 da, da. and I'm like, I like this, <laughs> I like this girl. Like she doesn't like she's not. Oh really? That's true. Oh, I'm gonna take this as the truth. Not that somebody says that to me, but many Skepticism. people just. Yeah, it's it's healthy, of course. Like and then like she could take the time. I think she's somebody who would investigate one time that by herself, like if. Uh, what she said and rah, rah, rah. but yeah that's what i really appreciate about you and i think we could have some really nice content like create yeah. something like that odisha explorers thank you for the donation by the way you know about india my name is amia welcome to the live stream amia we would uh, like to um i don't know if i would like to visit i would like to visit nepal i would like to visit nepal. india but i don't know where in india they're so big yeah Jesus. <laughs> Are there any other YouTubes you watch? Good question. I watch Taylor R. I've always watched her for a very long time. There's Joe Rogan here. There's Dr. Eric Burke. There is a Goatees. There is, there's some people here that I really don't watch anymore. There's the Charmander. What do you watch? Are there no, something watch. you remember that you watch? Um, Kurz gesagt. Oh, Kurz gesagt. Yeah, I animations. I watch um, Philosophy Tube. I watch The Try Guys. Oh, Try Guys. I've heard that. <laughs> I, I don't know what that is. a lot of music. This is mostly what I do mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yeah, I also listen just to music on YouTube. I don't really follow... People like I'm, I'm subscribed to loads of people, but I, I don't really. Yeah, there's some people I do keep coming back for, I think, or like when they have something like Taylor or I watch her vlog. Jenna Marbles. He's funny. I, I don't watch Jenna her though, Marbles. but I'm subscribed. I think. Ace of Science, Crash Course. <laughs> you watch those channels? I used to watch like a long time ago. Oh, you're, you're the evolved <laughs> version I of me. <laughs> Hey JB, have you all ever considered Olympic weightlifting? No, <laughs> we didn't. No, <laughs> what a you. specific question. <laughs> no, I, okay, I, I do martial arts and, and mm -hmm. with boxing and everything, I get like very broad shoulders and I really hate it. So I would never do something where I would work out my upper body because I feel less feminine when I get bulky. I, I understand you, but this girl has a great body. <laughs> and she's like, I'm brick and stuff, but she, like, it's great. It's great. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Midwest, I like her too, but I don't watch her anymore. There's people here that I don't watch, but I subscribe them one time for a reason. Anyways, but uh, Olympic weightlifting, I do think why where does that question come from? It. Yeah, indeed. Where does it come from? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Maybe just let's check one more here, and then uh, we should kind of wrap it up because you need to really uh, yeah. don't be too late home. Don't Wait, any late late home. Hmm? No, no, I'm not gonna ask that question. What? what? No, no, the lowest one. No, <laughs> let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Does frequent earthquakes happen? You look, you look Egyptian. I look Egyptian? Well, that's a new one. Why do I look Egyptian? Sell Lim Pusat? Does earthquake happen? Ah, he likes Olympic weightlifting. That's why he asks. Oh, uh, that's why. I've never really followed that Olympic weightlifting. 
There was a question about um, earthquakes in Japan. We didn't experience one when we were there. No. I did when, uh, in 2014, I did experience them. I experienced one time when I was sitting in the house and everything was... Yeah. I've had that. I was sitting on the, on the office chair with the, with the wheels and I felt like the Ooh. earth was moving and because of the wheels, I was sitting kind of still because the earth was moving underneath me. That was such a crazy experience. Yeah, it's strange, it's, right? This this force, y you don't feel it anywhere else because the whole earth, everything is moving, and not the whole earth. Oh, but I'm you know what go I mean. To toilet. You go ahead and say it. You can talk to them. I need you, Chris. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. Just go. <laughs> Well, the whole earth is moving, so it's really, really strange because I don't know how to explain. There's not not any other force that you can feel besides that that's so immense. Oh, she's coming back. Maybe you heard the toilet flush. You're back! I'm You're very fast! I'm very quick here. Wow. That's a skill. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even sit on the toilet. No. I <laughs> float above it. <laughs> you just want to offer it? You're <laughs> God again. Not even lying. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're still live, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> This is fun. We should do this every um, yeah. maybe once a month or something because I think people enjoy this. Isn't it? Isn't it? People will come back for us. Um, now let's check some. If you guys have some really good, good questions, we can uh, see what you have to say to ask to us because we're gonna go uh, and get to the end of the stream because uh, Laura needs to go get back home. Um. Boy gaat er ook vandoor morgen weer werkie. Nou, succes, Pai Gorgsen. <laughs> was leuk dat je er bent. And always, thank you very much, always, for commenting on my videos as well. That was fun. That is Wait, fun. why do I get the question loud? Do you think the earth is flat? Why oh. would I think that? It doesn't don't respond it's not, to it. It doesn't have to do a bit with thinking. It's it a fact. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, God. Why are you going <laughs> to say, why are you doing this? It's true. I the earth is flat. <laughs> What's the, the sound, the alien sound? What is it? No, it's more like a whistling sound. I, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, enough people are like the, the, they are watching us. Okay. Let's see. My mom, like a week ago or so, my, my, my dad asked her uh, something about like with the earth being flat, like as a joke. And she said, I'm gonna do it in Dutch because I can translate it in English. <laughs> she said, there's like the few people who have the van af hebben gelopen and here's the rond. What? That's funny. <laughs> That's such a weird. I wish it, we could like make it sound that funny. You, you can't, no, 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 you can't translate it. No. You need to learn Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> Mensen hebben de kwijtste van af. Dat wil niet. Kan toch niet meer? Nu is het rond. I think some Dutch people would have uh, understand, understood that. <laughs> Welcome back, says uh, surfing. <laughs> Thank you. That toilet flush, though. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Love your videos, Kasim. Thank you very much. What's your first prep tip for travel to Japan? Get to know the culture. And don't go there without knowing uh, some basic habits and communication skills and you you got to for japan really know learn get to know their culture do that effort before you go what's your first tip get uh, i don't know <laughs> what's your phone what or should you do oh well I, i'm gonna quickly say because Odisha Explorers um, made a, a donation. Thank you very much. If Thank you want to come to India, then come to Odisha. Odisha. You can Google it. I'm happy to serve you. Tell me your Insta idea. At Kusumi Chris at Instagram. So tell me. But yeah, 
Your number one tip? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't know. What's, what's, what's what did you do? do? What did you do when you prepared to go to Japan for almost a year? Learn the language. language. No mm -hmm. stuff with language and culture. Yeah, I think like you said, you said it before, right? You need to know how people behave, people their behaviors, and um, that you are not this foreigner that doesn't know the ways. Stuff with tipping, you don't tip, you don't give money straight to their hands. You mm -hmm. lay it in a in a box, yeah, or a plastic thing. Yeah, I don't know how to explain yeah. it. So mm -hmm. those, those typical things you should do and should not do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you don't say to people like this you do like yeah this. this is what you do to a dog yeah so there's a lot of these intrinsic things like these little detailed things that uh, of course they will look over it because you're a foreigner but if you know just to go with the flow in these ways know these little gestures it will take you get you on a long way you go on a long way in japan how do you say that indeed Thank you for sharing, for streaming. It's so funny. I'm glad you find it funny. Lyra, you replying every my question. It seems like, seems you like Persian. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's also the name. If you say Laura, I'm like, oh, something to do with me. <laughs> He's like, oh, how do you say it? You have a word for that. Uh, reference, or how do you say that? I don't know. Reference. Like, <clears throat> When something is only in your interest, I don't remember the word for that. Well, if you say stuff with about flat Earth, I'm triggered. So <laughs> if, you, if you do any triggering questions, then I'll reply. <laughs> I read scripts last week, and I and if I you don't tell me how old you are, I will unsub. Why? <laughs> why do you need to know my age? Tell me why first. Selim Fusat. It's your loss if you subscribe, though. Oh, if, you, if you unsubscribe. Sapporo, many people who come from outside of Hokkaido try to eat soup curry. Did you try this in your we had Check our video. We had yeah. soup curry. It was such yeah. a big bowl. See? Yeah. It was so like big. Like this. Like this bowl. But then in the middle you had the food. But it was this <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. And we sat there with our nap or our slobberches. Our, our slobberches. <laughs> our little... How do you call that? Bib. Bib, yeah. A bib. Bib. <laughs> Our bib. And we were like eating there, like, do, do, do. we put the rice in the in the soup curry and we ate it. Uh, in my video, I also say, you see what restaurant it was as well. So check that out, J J Z. Have a good day, stream, and good night. Like, bye bye, Carmen. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. When we talk about our culture, we should learn more about our history. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't get triggered, Laura. <laughs> Can you travel everywhere visa free with Dutch passport? Not everywhere, but you have a lot of uh, places you can go without a visa. We're kind of lucky. Yeah. <laughs> for that. Like I think China, you need to have visa, right? Yeah, yes, you need to have visa in China and Russia also. Hmm. But no, like, but the rest. America, we can go. We can go to Canada. We can go to everywhere in Europe, of course. We don't even need a passport for all the places in Europe. No, no, just need, no. You don't need a passport. No, need identity Europe. card no. only. Uh, but Japan, we do not need no visa. Probably countries in South America, either. Or is there country? Brazil? You can go mm -hmm. without a visa. So that's good. It's really nice to have be Dutch. <laughs> well, to have a Dutch passport. <laughs> do you want to have your own kids? Yes, I do. I don't know. <laughs> That's what the answers. <laughs> we'll see what hormones will bring. <laughs> mm, guys, live in the United States? No, we don't live in the United States. We live in the Netherlands. Not Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Just a side note. <laughs> well, this is Holland. We're in Holland right now. In south of Holland. Yes. 
<laughs> that was very cute and sweet. I know, right? <laughs> Have you guys visited Ghibli Museum? I did in 2013. I know I didn't. Why do oh. you point at yourself like this? I'm a little How cute. do Japanese people point? How do Japanese people? They don't point. They do this. I. Huh? They do point like this? Yeah. I. And and Western is I. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's I don't know why I did this. But did did you're this? a ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> why do people do this? I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, this me. is like I, and yeah. that's what Japanese people do this. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And then you can say, No, it's a nose. Hmm, Naha, Hoshi, Hash, Nasi, Wach, Nasi, Yogi, Nasi, 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 yeah, I knew, I remember. I remember. Are you guys afraid of heights? It's a bit scary, but I'm not afraid. Are you? No. No. Well, honestly, there was one time where I was on a cliff on this very, like, I'm going to look up a picture and I'm going to show you Then I was afraid of heights. You She's going to look up a picture. Echo, echo. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep on talking. I'm going to keep on talking, guys. What do you want me to talk about? I'm uh, going to look through the comments right now and see if somebody places a really nice comment that we can, I mean, a really nice question that we can ask. Be creative. Be, be unique you see with this? your questions. Oh, yeah, that was a great picture. I was afraid here. It was in Brazil. But this looks to me like almost like as if you're sitting on the beach. Yeah, like but the, I wasn't sitting on the you beach. You wasn't sitting on the beach, no. Okay, it's a stone in the sky somewhere very high, and it was really high. No, it was not this thin, but it was really, really thin, and it couldn't break at any moment. And I was sitting there, and it was so, so super scary. What we do for beautiful pictures. <sighs> yeah, we're stupid. It's scary. <laughs> okay, guys, we said it a couple of times, but really, now the last questions. Let them come in because we really need to end. Ooh, we are busy Brazilian. for one half hour. Say hi to Brazil. Hola, Boa Brazil. Who? Boa tarde. Boa, boa tarde. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Mulher. Mulher. <laughs> boa tarde, mulher. Zeg nog meer? Nog oh, meer. obrigada. Obrigada. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigado. <laughs> I just know a lot of food. That's a song from your country, right? No, I'm Skyrunner and Boxer. Now what? Now what, Laura? What's a Skyrunner? I don't know. I don't understand. Me neither. <laughs> if you had one wish, what would that be? I had a, I, I had a wish. But I cannot say it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have one wish. I, I already made the wish. I think I made it in Japan. And my wishes have changed over the years. Instead of asking for something, I ask for something that I can do. Like mm. the strength to do something instead of just asking to oh, get yeah. something. Because I want to be the one doing it and I don't want to just receive. The control. Yes, I like strong, it. independent woman. Yes, and also independent girls. <laughs> At the end of the video. Okay, I see some more questions. Let's get political here. <laughs> Let's skip that. JB, thank you very much for all your support here <laughs> in this. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And uh, that's a cute one. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I think. Uh, Makeup. That's the answer. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay. Okay. Guys, well, I think your the shape of your face and your eyes and your nose has nothing to do with makeup, you know. You can contour. Yeah, but you don't have that. Honestly, contour. I could be like. When I take off my makeup, it'll be really, really ugly. I'm wearing eyebrow pencil and your natural beauty. Yeah. But you, girl. girl. No. Girl. Girl. <laughs> girl. Girl. I think we are kind of, kind of, 
kind of similar, right? Are we kind of like maybe not a lot, but look, hmm, not at all, maybe. <laughs> their smile, okay, like the smile, <laughs> and their eyes goes like. This. <laughs> Do you see that? And if I w wore some makeup today too, then. <laughs> why why do you smile? I don't know why I do that. Smile really hard. Smile hard. <laughs> now my cheeks are a little bit different. Okay. This is weird. What the heck? I don't know. We were looking at ourselves. Um. Uh, yeah. So I think it's uh, really nice to end the, the stream right here. And we should do that more often and maybe more earlier. And maybe when we don't have anything to do the next day. I want to say thank you very much for everyone that joined and that stayed for a long time. I saw people coming in and people coming out. Thank you for all the questions. Also, thank you for the people that sent questions through Instagram. Very much appreciated so we could uh, get the questions going in the beginning. And uh, yeah, we hope to do this again. And uh, if you're here and you want to see some of our Japan adventures, go ahead, click on my channel. Subscribe, by the way. If you haven't subscribed to my channel because you keep updated with my content so click the notification bell so you get notifications from when i upload but check out our japan adventures there's still one more vlog coming up and um what's yeah. this about is it the one that, that we're say still goodbye. in tokyo oh we're still in osaka in osaka i'm sorry in osaka yeah. and then the last day of you just being... yeah that i'm the last days that i'm in the capsule hotel i'm mm -hmm. going to show you what capsule hotel has been really uh not modern one but it was really cool in um asakusa it was nice to be there like so um traditional -ish. but um yeah so our videos our japan wrench are on my channel there's um how many vlogs do we have uploaded already one two three four five five yeah so we have five japan vlogs you can watch the last one has been going pretty good i don't know why how it comes that there's 20k viewers there and i noticed i also want to say thank you and welcome to all the new japan subscribers because um a lot of japanese people have been subscribing to my channel what i absolutely think is amazing um i, I learn more japanese like that when you write in japanese comments write japan i'm kind of losing my tongue here i really enjoy it when you, you guys comment in this is okay what if it falls? Nope. <laughs> so um, what I meant with that is that I learned Japanese, I translated. And anyways, it's fun to have a different kind of audience on my channel coming in. And um, I will be doing a video soon asking for a favor from the Japanese people that are in, on my channel. But uh, um, I also noticed that the last video has a lot of viewers from 55 plus. I'm curious to one. I wonder why. Why? Yeah, why? Anyway, have fun watching these videos. There's still one more coming up and then I will get back to my regular vlogs. Um, yeah, if you want to say something to them, maybe Laura. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for being nice. And I really liked reflecting a little bit on Japan. It was it was nice to to see you again, talk about Japan again, and mm -hmm. yeah, do this. nice to catch up indeed. Yes, I'm happy you enjoyed it too. And everybody saying good night, good night, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Hey, Richard, you're here. Oh, <laughs> he says you two look fabulous. Thank you very much, Richard. Yeah. He looks like um, do you know Vikings? I've heard of it. I don't know what they Check look out like. this guy. Vikings. Richard, are you still here? Please say yes. Where is Richard Harris coaching? Look. He looks like him. Richard looks like... I don't like know a, his name. Like a Viking. Yeah. Like a Viking, yes. But this is the... How is he called? What is his name? Was he the underdog? Ragnar Lothbrok. Hmm? Was he the underdog? The underdog? I, I've i seen some of the No, he's like the, the, the... I've seen like three, four episodes and he's like oh. the hero. Oh, okay. He's like the main character. He looks super... Wait, I'm going to find Richard Harris for you. Harris. I think half an hour ago I saw this... 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 
the message saying hmm. two hours later still saying oh, I'm saying here should go. Oh. Oh, well. okay. oh yeah okay I can see it <laughs> okay uh -huh. you get it, <laughs> <laughs> oh you yeah hmm. okay so um I think Richard is not oh Richard is still here you are far too kind, Crystal. You both have a terrific energy. I'm sorry I caught this so late. How, how has Japan been? Awesome. You're amazing too, Richard. How has Japan been? So we talked about it a little bit already in this uh, stream, but Japan was amazing. Amazing. Oh, <laughs> I heard that. I think you enjoyed it too, right? Yeah. Are we focused? Japan was amazing. Mm -hmm. Just like the last time we were there. Everything was, was the same, the same vibe. It was nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And also a good travel companion. Yeah. That was the greatest thing <laughs> yeah. like, I did not expect. No. Uh, oh, my God. It was just an amazing trip. I'm never going to forget it. <laughs> I'm glad I filmed and I put everything on. I'm also very glad you filmed. Yeah. I'm too lazy to do it. <laughs> and took all the pictures. As yeah. Well. We still need to get all the pictures. shoots. Yeah. Oh, Holy moly. Yeah. We need to. Yeah. So okay. many pictures. Can I have this IG of this blonde beauty? <laughs> I don't know anything with Insta. So people can follow me if they want to. I've I, tagged her in some of my yeah, pictures. You just see pictures that she tags me in. <laughs> That's yeah. it. I Check on my Instagram at Kasumi Chris. I made pictures of her and I tagged her, but she's not really. My name active. is Laura van Leeuwen, 94. Mm -hmm. But if you just look it up, you, you will see me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to type it. Okay, I think it's uh, great. I'm yeah. really addicted. I would like to stay longer, but it's going to be so late. <laughs> so we see everyone another time. We will sure be back with uh, another live stream together. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, so then. <laughs>